Hi everyone, this is the uh, last Myopia vision improvement log episode that I'm going to make. Um, it didn't turn out too well in the end, uh, so I want to talk about that today. So I just want to preface this by saying, you know, from the start, this has been a personal journey. Um, I didn't start this channel with an actual conclusion, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, and I did just genuinely start this out in an attempt to figure out whether you can naturally improve your eyesight or not. From where I stand currently, I think for the first 90 days did lead to an actual genuine reduction in eye strain uh, due to better eye habits. And that is actual improvement in my eyesight. But I think the long term five or six year period after the first like 90 days has really just been a cycle of reducing thinking that I was getting better and seeing the world better, um, but then realizing that wasn't the case at all. Uh, so going through a cycle of blur adaptation. So yes, I'm, I'm saying I've been lying. I've been a big mean liar for five to six years um, and all of the improvements past like the first initial reductions in eye strain were totally fake. Um, they weren't intentionally fake. I didn't try to deceive anyone um, because I genuinely believed I was making those improvements. Um, but at the end of the day, um, I was just going through a cycle of blur adaptation, ultimately. Um, reducing, thinking I got better, then hitting a wall and realizing I can't reduce any further, realizing that I haven't actually improved. And then I would increase my correction again, I would go back up and then try the whole thing again because I reduced too quickly or something. Um, but ultimately, um, it was just a big cycle and there isn't really any space to actually make long-term genuine improvements in eyesight. So obviously, I'm not saying this doesn't work for nobody. It might work for some people. Um, it certainly hasn't worked for me over five or six years of doing this. Um, maybe it works for some people, but certainly not for me. I started out by making videos really optimistically um, and I would be reducing quickly and, you know, that was fun and I was getting involved in the community and everything. Um, but then I'd, real I'd hit a wall and I'd realize, no, I need to increase my correction again. And then I would keep doing that and then people would realize, why are you not actually improving? You keep increasing your correction. You keep saying you've done everything wrong and stuff like that. Um, I was kind of like just vlogging the whole journey the whole time. It was very like matter of fact, that's what I was going through. Um, but it turns out that after all of that, it really wasn't for much. Uh, there's no real end result after all of this. So I currently wear minus 450 right eye, minus 350 left eye with 0 0.75 cylinder in both eyes. Um, just like my optician gave me. I'm, I'm using the, the optician prescription. Um, I don't think I'll get my eye, eyes tested nearly as much as I used to, to be honest with you. Um, and I'm definitely never going to get laser eye surgery. That's one massive positive that came out of all of this. I think I will never get laser eye surgery, which has a very high complication rate. And you should really look into that website, lasikcomplications.com, before you even consider laser eye surgery. Because it seems like a big roll of the dice for something that is ultimately like cosmetic, just to not wear glasses again. I think over the past five to six years, I've definitely like sort of reevaluated how I see myself wearing glasses. And I ultimately realized, you know, it doesn't really matter. Like it's, it's what you make of it. There's plenty of people who wear glasses. Um, it's inconvenient at times, sure. Um, but you don't have to like keep fighting it or anything, you know, you can just live your life. You can do other things. It doesn't have to be like your hobby to try and get out of bad eyesight or anything. Um, if you really don't like it, you can get laser eye surgery. I'm not going to be doing that. Um, but yeah, I think, I think it's like a rabbit hole and I've definitely moved on from that part of my life. You know, maybe the real in myopia was the self-acceptance along the way, guys. Yeah, that, that sounded pretty corny. I'm sorry. So yeah, on a personal level, I have proved it to myself at least that you can't improve your eyesight. Um, you can just keep going through cycles of blur adaptation and blur adaptation. And all this time, by the way, when you're doing blur adaptation, like the quality of your life is lower because you don't realize that there's so much blur. Um, you, you, you sort of brush it under the carpet, but you just genuinely won't see things that other people can see because they have the correct amount of correction or whatever. Um, so your quality of life is down doing all of this the entire time because things are more blurry than they should be. Um, so you pay that price and you think things are getting better. Um, but like your quality of life is lower and there's no point in doing any of it because at least to me, it doesn't seem to improve your vision in the long term at all. So yeah, that's what it is from a personal does this work or not uh, perspective. 
Um, and then you also got who Jake Steiner is. Jake Steiner, Rain Wayand, according to the uh, company logs. Um, honestly, he is a massively suspicious fellow. And the whole suspicions behind him just become so much more clear um, the more you look into him. I mean, he's literally written articles about how to deceive companies into thinking your resume is better than it actually is. He does have a whole hidden blog at, I think, sadonully.com, which is in the Internet Archive about how he, you know, travels around and wants to bang girls and stuff, which is pretty crazy. And honestly, with my interactions with him in the community, he honestly just comes across as a deceitful person. He does. He's literally taken community contributions that people were just passing back to him in sort of like good faith, let's try and improve the community or whatever. And he's made them into paid resources. Um, he famously said that the MYOPIA wiki had to be taken down due to some supposed legal threat, which disappeared after a month. And also because I published a fork of the the MIOPIA wiki uh, after that. So he just seems to make up things all of the time when it suits him. Um, and I honestly wouldn't trust a word he says. So why should that extend to MIOPIA and the website and what he's created? Why should it extend to any of that? So it doesn't really take a rocket scientist to figure out that, you know, not, not only have I tried his method out from first principles, I've tried it out. I've genuinely tried to take what he said and apply it to my life and see if it improves my eyesight. I've tried that and it didn't work. And then to top it off, he's also an incredibly shady, manipulative kind of guy, right? Um, according to everything he's put online. So if you put two and two together, you realize that it's not an entirely credible thing, what he's saying here. None of it's credible. He's not credible. The method's not credible. And also the improvement reports aren't credible, right? Um, my improvement reports, reports in the past, I, I thought that they were coming from a real place, but I was deceived. I was conned by the whole blur adaptation thing. Um, and ultimately, I was just a witness, just as anybody else is a witness to any of this. Anyone can claim improvements in the long term, right? Anyone can say that. And hell, maybe some of them are being paid and some of them, maybe they genuinely believe it, right? I certainly was never paid. I was never induced to any of this. I genuinely believed that I was improving my eyesight. Um, but for where, wherever it comes from, these are just personal testimonials at the end of the day and it's all just anecdotal. There isn't actually any hard scientific evidence that any of this works. And if it did actually work, I feel like there would be more people talking about it by this point. But alas, it's relegated to a bunch of internet cowboys who want to sell courses online and sell stuff. I suppose that's what it is. I've seen countless people over the years in both the private MIOPIA forum, the Facebook group, Discord server, you name it. I've seen countless people say that this hasn't worked for them in the long term. And there was some issue along the way. I have definitely seen more failures than supposed successes. And the supposed su successes are very rarely total. Like, they very rarely get someone back to 2020. I think this all just might be a bit, great big sham, to be honest. So yes, yeah, so in conclusion, uh, Jake is a scumbag. All of this is fake. <laughs> and you shouldn't waste your time with any of this, to be honest. Um, you should just move on. You should uh, probably not get laser eye surgery. Just learn to appreciate wearing glasses normally, I suppose. Um, and just move on. None of it matters. Thanks to everyone who engaged with the channel over the years. Um, thanks, you, you mean a lot. Um, I'm sorry it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to turn out, but you do live and learn, and uh, we're all on the journey together, I suppose. So yes, thank you very much. And special shout out to OT Brown. <laughs> I have to shout you out. Thank you so much. Until next time, genetic failures.